people in Pittsburgh are still recovering from the latest round of protests that turned violent. Last night started as a peaceful protest in Pittsburgh's East Liberty neighborhood, but it didn't end that way. Lindsay Ward went back to the scene today and spoke to people who are now cleaning up a city they love and believe is in pain. This is the area where the peaceful protest ended last night in the corner of Center and Penn Avenues. Unfortunately, it's also when a group of people decided to become violent. Businesses were damaged and police officers were injured. I think a lot of people are just taking advantage of the situation. The front windows of some businesses like Dollar Bank are now boarded up in East Liberty. This shoe store, Sneaker Villa, still displays the glass shattered after Monday night's protest. It's sad to see it's a beautiful city and you know, we don't need this to be happening. This is our neighborhood and we just love this city. Jonathan Cordell, pastor for Crossroads in East Liberty, along with other members, have trash bags in hand and gloves on as they look to clean up after what happened. Sometimes we want to do really big things, but it's the small little incremental things that really can affect what we want to see change. It was another tough night for the city. After a peaceful protest, some broke off and were violent towards others. Bricks and other objects were thrown at police officers, injuring nine. 20 people, including four from out of state, were arrested. I think there's just a lot of pain and a lot of hurt. It's a symptom of something deeper that's happening. And so I think listening for me is one of the best things that I can do right now. And we're told two protesters were injured from last night, but none seriously. Reporting at East Liberty, Lindsay Ward, KDK News.